Morning. Oh, hey, uh, what are you reading? Tech Chan blog, listen to this headline. After a successful launch, this game startup is winning. Cool. What's wrong? I can see you processing. Let me guess, everything went too well last night? No. Okay. Is it Valerie? Listen, I know you have some stuff to work out. I, I hate the idea of you two fighting over me. No, we're not fighting over you. We're fighting over us. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of about me, right? You know, you told her you wanted me to stay. She promised she wouldn't interfere. She lied to you. Yeah, but that's still about us. About the way that we want the company run. I've been trying so hard to get through to her. And then she pulled that stunt last night and then started a fight. And I just thought... <sighs> Don't feel too bad about her trying to have me poached. Any company would be lucky to have me. <laughs> lucky is doing a lot of work there. Ouch. Sorry. I... I think I need coffee. Oh, let me make you butter coffee. It gives you essential nutrients. Whoa, let me stop you right there. You put butter in my coffee and that means you want to fight. Okay, Tiger. Noted. You know, if we keep getting press like this, plenty of investors will be knocking down our doors to throw money at us. More money? More problems with Val. How could she possibly be more upset about us getting more investors? Maybe she thinks the only reason they showed up is because of you. But like it or not, you helped get Wiley off the ground. Even Valerie has to recognize that. Or your company was saved because you finally have someone in your corner who actually supports you. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe it's time that Valerie moved on from Wiley. What? Absolutely not. Face it, Juliet, you're the brains. You could hire a partnerships person that could replace Valerie in a second. Wiley could even have IPO soon, if you want. And if you wanted to sell. Sell Wiley? No. Is this how Eve felt when the snake was trying to talk her into biting that apple? I'm not a snake, and to be honest, your relationship with Valerie is in a Garden of Eden, but I do apologize for pushing a truth that will be clear to you soon. Yeah, this conversation is too intense before I've had coffee. I'll make it. You stay here and relax. I'll call you when it's ready. No butter. Black and strong. Like? Don't say like me. Black and strong coffee coming up. Realm presents The Co-Founder. Starring Alexandra Shipp and Sunita Mani. Episode 6. Oh shit, we're out of beans. Toby! Toby? <laughs> what are you doing in Raina's room? Hey, hey, you scared me. I, I, I needed to use the bathroom, but it was closed. I was afraid of running into Valerie right now. I thought I'd use the bathroom in Raina's room since she's not here. Did you try knocking? No, I, I didn't want to interrupt. Val? Val, are you here? All clear. Oh, good. <laughs> cool. I'll use that one. Where do you think Valerie is? No idea, but she'll probably be back soon, so maybe we should skip the coffee and catch up later. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let me just do my thing, and I will be out of your way. Cool, thanks. This is Valerie. Leave a message. I'm making moves. Hey, it's me. Just wanted to see what you were up to. Uh, let's talk, yeah? If you'd like to send your message, press 1. To listen, press 2. To delete, press 3. Your message has been deleted. Goodbye. Fuck. I know. I know. It's like, just talk to each other. God. But Juliet felt like she deserved an apology, which she did. And this was her way of standing up for herself. It's not like people are good at talking about their feelings, you know? <laughs> I mean, I know. So I decided to take matters into my own hands to help these two figure their shit out. I paid a follow-up to Mackenzie. Even though she and Val, quote-unquote, hate each other, I know there's still a lot of love there. And I promised you a story about women working together, so here you go. Uh, hello? Hey. Oh, you're... Reina? Yeah. Val and Juliet threw me. <laughs> How are you? You look... healthy. You too? 
I assume you came here to discuss my little slip last night? I had to see this scammer wall for myself. You were going to tell Valerie and Julia that they're working with someone who made it on here? Why would I help Valerie, of all people? Oh, and why isn't she the one grilling me right now? Oh, so you haven't told her. Interesting. I need proof before I go to them. I've jumped to conclusions about this guy before and crashed. Plus, Jules and Valerie are already stressed out as it is. Yes, a million dollars does sound stressful. Okay, last night, you said Toby crapped on your company in the comments of the Wiley press release? (laughs) I have never in my life said the word crapped. I was summarizing. He didn't specifically call out CryptoCupid. But he may as well have put a target on my back when he alluded to CryptoCupid being an app you couldn't trust. That comment went viral. There were subtweets of subtweets. Ugh. I figured it was payback for me rejecting his phony resume last year. And it doesn't sound like something you'd let him get away with. Not after shoving your own privacy nightmare back in your face, right? Privacy is a thing of the past. Like your Birkenstocks. Wow. But yes, I do abstractly intend for that present to get what's coming to him. So you'll help Val and Jules take him down? I do want to see him suffer, but I'm conflicted because I also enjoy watching Valerie suffer. I guess it's the girls before Earls in this case. The real question is, what's in it for you? Hey, can I just be looking out for my friends? Hmm, friends. Interesting word choice. Well, when it comes to one of them. Shut up. A real knight in pothead armor trying to save her princess. I'll let you know when I find something interesting to take down Toby. I didn't totally know what she meant. Or I I pretended not to know. Ugh, feelings. Mm, Fuck, am I right? (laughs) Are you sure you don't want some... uh, No. Anyway, speaking of feelings, sometimes you just gotta cocoon till you figure shit out. That's exactly what Valerie did. She camped out at Derek's place until things cooled down with Jules, or at least until she got perspective. She was coming around to the fact that maybe she took it too far, (laughs) that she just needed to listen to Jules more. But this part of the story, this is the stuff of heartbreak, man. (laughs) It's so sad, you know, they were partners. They they, they were collaborators. You know, the origin of the word uh, collaborate is actually Latin, laborare, (sighs) to labor or to labor together. (laughs) Not a lot of people know that, but I actually studied Latin. I've studied a lot. Can I get you anything? Uh, no, thank you. You know, you have a five-figure rent at the penthouse of Hustle Hub. You don't have to work at my apartment. Thank you so much. It's just awkward. With jewels and all. Uh Uh-huh. Anytime. Just don't drag me any deeper into this. Ah! Is everything okay? The director of partnerships at Playcube just emailed us about drop-in assets. Ooh, is that Sky Morrow? (sighs) Back when Juliet and I were drunk storming about Wiley. Wait a minute. Drunk storming? New word. Brainstorming while drunk. Drunk storming. (laughs) Try it. Use it as much as possible. Anyway, I had this exact idea. Finding a video game franchise willing to license its characters on the platform as drop-ins. Hmm, Google says Playcube is notoriously tight-fisted about granting character licenses. Sure, but they're reaching out, so that means their game to play ball. Ooh, and I'm not going to settle for some third-tier character either. I'm going for the gold. Minerva. She's the star of Playcube's number one series. A sleek assassin by way of a Roman goddess. An ideal first asset for Wiley and a huge step in our growth. Okay, look at you being a boss bitch. Who <sighs> setting this up now? Toby, hi. Got your message about PlayCube. Hi, Valerie. Hey, hey, did you hear me? Where are you? I'm in Richmond buying a motorcycle. Richmond? Oh, okay. Uh, about this PlayCube email, can you forward it to me? I can schedule the call. He said he wanted to drop in. Ugh. No, he was emailing about drop-in assets, but don't don't worry about it. Just forward me the email, and I'll handle it from here. Oh, I can schedule it, no problem. I'm headed back to the office now. What about your motorcycle? 
paid for any cash. Easy peasy. I've been saving up. In cash? A friend of mine who works as a nurse in the ER calls motorcycles donor cycles. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. Just email me your availability. I'll schedule a Zoom call. Okay, I'd love to get it scheduled today or tomorrow. It could be big for us. Sorry, I can barely hear you. I'm riding home now. Jesus. Uh, okay, I'll email you my schedule. I-, I can take point on the call, okay? Okay, Toby out. Toby out? And you wanted me to poach him? Sorry. Hey, Toby. Thanks for setting up the video call, I guess. Of course. Happy to host. And thanks for sending over that info about Playcube and Minerva. It was really helpful. Oh, looks like Sky's joining. Here we go. Hey, Valerie, Toby, happy to jump on a call with you both. The Thank you for meeting with us. <laughs> Sky, I- I've been interested in drop-in assets since the inception of Wiley. This collaboration feels like it was meant to be. That's great to hear. So tell me more about why you think Playcube is the right fit. Well, I can start... Oh, Toby, um... Hey, I think I'm muted. That's a great question, Sky. As the largest gaming company in the U.S., Playcube is the best in the industry. Oh, Toby, my sound is turned off. We believe in Wiley, and we anticipate our app will be revolutionizing gaming. Collabing with Playcube not only solidifies our credibility, but gets Playcube in on the ground floor of our skyrocketing venture. That sounds fantastic. It seems like you guys were destined for great things at Wiley. I've been following you ever since the press release. Wow, Sky, that's so generous. And I... Damn, Toby, hey, I'm uh, muted again. And of course, we can't deny Playcube's cultural impact. I mean, look at Minerva. Everyone from an elementary school kid to a grandparent knows who she is. Toby, can you please unmute me? Um, okay, it looks like Valerie is trying to speak. I I think uh, she's muted. Oh, gosh. Val, you're muted. There should be a little mic in the bottom left. Ah, thanks, Toby. Yeah, the the joys of video calls, right? <laughs> the learning curve is tricky. So, like I was trying to say, it's well known that Playcube is cautious about character licenses, and who could blame you? You don't want an asset like Minerva just anywhere. Okay, Valerie, um, I gotta stop you right there. Uh, we we can't hear you again. Maybe it's your mic. God damn it, Toby! Are you serious? He muted me again. Are you connected to a Bluetooth set? This happened to my mom the other day. I think we might be losing you. Okay, let's just... um... I think you're right. Val, how about I log you out and you try signing on again. I'll take over in the meantime. Oh my God, no, wait, no, no. Those are my talking points. Oh my God. Waiting for host to admit you? Oh my God, I'm going to murder him. Ugh! Finally! Hey, Val! He's a fucking snake, a cockroach, lower than a cockroach. You would not- Val, Val, what's happening? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Toby totally fucked me. We were supposed to be working together all day on this thing with Playcube, and I, I swear- You've been working together all day? You haven't texted me all weekend, and you don't show up to the office, but you're working with the guy that you wanted to fire. He insisted on setting up the call between Wiley and Playcube. Then he cut me out of the entire conversation. After I had prepped him, he literally silenced me. Okay, so you trusted the guy that you've been telling me not to trust. I only trusted him because you trusted him. And because you two took my access to his email account away. Well, he deserves to have some privacy, Val. Okay, I'm trying to confide in you, and you take his side every chance you get. I'm not taking sides. I'm just trying to understand what happened, because when I saw him just now, he didn't mention anything about you two fighting. (laughs) You think he'd tell you all the shady shit he's been up to? You're so busy playing the little girlfriend that you- Oh, I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Jules. Oh, is that the little fuckface? Tell him that I will end him. Is that Valerie? I can hear her from here. What's her problem? She's upset about the call earlier. The call where we charmed Sky into the biggest partnership of our career? Our career? Oh, he doesn't have a career. This manipulative, lying sack of shit. Toby, can you give me a minute, please? Can you give me a minute, sweetheart, baby bumpkin, smugger push? Like, listen to yourself, Juliet. Ugh. How am I supposed to listen to myself when you're screaming in my ear, Val? 
All the time, constantly. It's you, you, you. You say you called to confide in me? How? You're just being hysterical. And frankly, you didn't even check to see how I've been all weekend, sitting up at Derek's place all day. Wow. Okay, maybe I've been a little emotional, but this was different. You, you know what? Never mind. I, I gotta go. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, just had a pleasant call with Valerie. She has some choice words about you, too. Did she mention anything specific? Honestly, I don't care. I don't. I have some news that might cheer you up. Check out the latest Tech Chan 31 post. It's game on for Playcube's most iconic characters at the Valley Wiley Ist tech startup. Wait, you did this? Valerie had mentioned drop in assets. I know. I can't believe that she didn't move on it. Sky messaged me this morning, and it was pretty much a done deal by lunch. I, th I thought she'd be happy. No, that's amazing. That's been one of her goals for so long. I ordered some pizza and champagne. I thought we could have a little celebration before heading out. Sure, yeah, I just... Maybe I should text her. She might need to cool off. Oh, wait, she's texting me right now. God, these little dots are just agony. Maybe just put your phone away and enjoy Oh the... my God. What? She sent a voice memo. Look. You know what? I quit. Oh, man. <clears throat> What an overreaction. That's like unhinged. Don't say that about her. Sorry, it's just you called her hysterical, so I wasn't sorry. Just I can't believe she quit via text message. Aren't you supposed to be best friends? Back off, Toby. Fuck. I went to see Jules to talk to her in person about Val, the intel Mackenzie gave me. There was a lot to fill her in on. I thought I could get ahead of everything. Until I was intercepted by Butt Brains himself, Toby Johnson. Everyone wants to use their privilege for good, but how? Using a proprietary algorithm that mines your credit card expenses, travel habits, and social media posts from yachts, we came up with the Privilege Score trademark. The more points you earn, the more you get to give away, like charity. You can convert your privilege into good without changing your lifestyle in any way. Instead, hand off your privilege points to those less fortunate, guilt-free. And you know what? I really fucking hate this place. Let's just talk to Juliet and get out of here. Rana, what are you doing here? Uh, Juliet said she was here. I need to see her. She, uh, got some news not too long ago and had to bolt. Everything's fine, though. What kind of news? That's between us co-founders. Dude, I'm as much of a co-founder as you are. You could have been, with your huge trust fund and all. Uh, what? <laughs> so I have some family money, no big deal. It's not a big deal to be the heir to the land and fortune. Valerie and Juliet don't know you're actually a fossil fuel princess, do they? I'm nobody's princess. I found your old ID in your room. Raina Pierce Landon. It wasn't hard to Google you after I found it. How do you think Valerie and Juliet are going to react when they learn you've been lying to them this whole time? They probably want nothing to do with you anymore. You don't know them. It wouldn't be like that. You've been lying to them about who you are. For years. You could have funded their dreams a long time ago. Do you think they're just going to get over that? Are you willing to risk it? Didn't think so. Still need to see Juliet? No? How about I show you out? Good night. That fucking monster. Fuck. You're listening to The Co-Founder, starring Alexandra Ship and Sunita Mani. The Co-Founder is a Realm original production. Realm, your portal to another world. Listen away. The Co-Founder is executive produced by and stars Alexandra Ship and Sunita Mani. Written by Alexis Wilkinson, Alexa Waco, and Mimi Mondal. Produced by Rhoda Bayeza, Kaylin West, and Haley Wagreich. Directed by Kaylin West. Executive produced by Molly Barton, Marcy Wiseman, and Julian Yap. Associate produced by Michael Coulter. 
starring Alexandra Shipp, Sunita Mani, Tony Hawk, Ryan Vincent Anderson, Bartley Booz, Cecily Louise Bro, Vishesh Chatra, Will Dow, Trey Hall, Angel Harper, Kavi Ladnier, Leon Mandel, Samia Mounts, Jillian Monsayek, Tanya Posick, and Loa Veldez. Additional voices by the cast. Audio editing by Marissa Ewing of Hemlock Creek Productions. Sound design by Rory O'Shea. Original theme and transition music by Phoebe Danskin. Music supervision by Amy Parker. Production manager, Alexis Latshaw. Casting by Sunday Bowling and Meg Mormon. Cover art by Kendall Thomas. Executive in charge for Realm, Mary Asadolahi. Special thanks to Pia Wilson. Find more shows like The Co-Founder by following Realm on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or at realm.fm. The Co-Founder is a Realm original production. Hey, phone, please call Tobacito. What's his face? What is that dude's last name? Hello? Ha, did it work? This is Toby's voicemail. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Nah, fool me twice, but no, it didn't work this time. I'm just sitting by the pool having a nice afternoon vibe and I got to thinking... This GameCube collab is gonna be a problem. We need to make it go away. Thankfully, I love solving problems. I got some ideas. Call me back.